channel is don't touch my afro so today I have a pretty quick and easy video to show you excuse me every time that I wear my turban on my head I always get a lot of questions about it like how do I tie it I just want to share it with you guys when you want to deep condition your hair but you got places to run this is my go-to so this is what I start with this is literally all you're going to need half of the time when I have my turban on I do have my scarf on just because I like to protect my hair from the cotton on the scarf. It just makes it a little bit easier for me. This portion, I just twist up like this and then I just tuck it and secure it in the top part. It looks like this, but you won't even really be able to see that um, once you get the turban on. So everything else looks pretty good. I take an infinity scarf so as you can see the infinity scarf looks like this I get my infinity scarves from Charlotte Russe usually when I go into Charlotte Russe the the scarves are usually buy two for ten dollars so on the inside of the scarf you have like the little tag right here I always take this part and Put it towards the back of my head because that way you don't have to worry about this sticking out here's another little tip this portion right here like where you see like the stitching that's the part that I put around the back of my head like that's how I know where to position it because you don't want the stitching to be like on the side of your head or like in the front so this is usually what I like to put on the like towards the back of my head so I would say just look for this and that way you know to position it and I'm just going to take it and put it on my head like so so now it looks like this and then you have this portion just like kind of hanging in the front and I'm just going to gather up all of the pieces <laughs> that's a hole if you can see and it's kind of like I'm tying a shoelace I'm just going to gather up all of the pieces make it tight so now it's crossed like this so we just crossed it over I look like an old lady looking over the rim of my glasses and you're just gonna twist like you're doing a twist out so now the back of it looks like this the side and it's all really tight and together and I just twist literally like I'm doing a twist out and the, t the tighter you get this part, the smoother it'll be once you go to go twist it. So now that that's all together, I just take it and twist it around, literally. <laughs> twist it around itself. I move this up a little bit. You just move it to like your liking. And then once you get to this end part here, you literally just going to tuck this. <laughs> so I'm taking it, tuck boom and you could even take it and twist it like this sometimes I'll do that and you literally have your turban now the little piece that's hanging out back here you can put a little edge control whatever you have to do but this is basically my turban this is exactly how I wear them and with it being tucked like that it does stay all day you don't have to worry about that portion coming undone it's pretty secure I won't have to go back in and redo it but if I do it's as simple as it came out Bloop. <laughs> tuck it back in I will show you another way with a scarf that isn't an infinity scarf just in case you don't have one at the moment but you would like to you know put a turban on so let me go get my other scarf to show you what that one would look like okay this is just a black scarf as you can see it's open-ended this is one end other end looks like this my personal preference I don't always do my scarf with this one just because I hate the little tassels that hang down from it it bothers me when my hair is in a turban but I've seen other people do it I guess it's just your personal preference and for me I don't necessarily like the, the tassels on mine you're just gonna pull it to the back of your hair like so like we did before the fabric is a little bigger on this one so I just like kind of rolled as you can see up 
and then you just gather everything tuck anything that feels loose up here so that way it's tight and we're gonna do the same thing you're gonna twist 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 and um, I suggest twisting tight because it just really kind of helps to keep it in place and then I just roll same thing as before I am kind of twisting as I go if you haven't if you couldn't tell just to keep the twist in there and then you tuck it literally the same and then if you have these little tassels that are like hanging in your face just tuck those all right <laughs> that's why I don't really care for the one with the tassels because it's a little bit harder as you can see the bun is gonna be a lot bigger and I like for the top part not to be so big on mine but you can see it looks the same I don't normally wear my scarves back like this I just find that I have a hard time um, making it stay ooh am I on to something right now I might have just did something Wow, <laughs> so if you wanted to make it smaller and the fabric was too big, I don't know if you guys caught what I just did, but <laughs> wow, I just did something. So basically what I did was I put it to the back of my hair as you guys seen that and then I just tied it like I did in the front, but I just tied it in the back and then I brought it around to the front and then I just twisted it like we did before so I guess if this scarf is too big like for me I never really wear it because I feel like it's too big you just do the same thing but that kind of helps take some of the fabric out I like it now what I was trying to do <laughs> was this All right, and we just put it to the back. So it's really just still the same thing. You're just putting it towards the back instead of the front. I don't typically wear my scarves like this often just because um, I kind of like it. It feels secure, it feels tight. Because I've never worn my scarf like this before, but I've always wanted to wear my scarf to the back like this. I just never have, but wow. That's it for the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I hope that you guys took something away from the video. And I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye!